guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see what's the energy surrounding my Virgos. I want to see what's currently going on with my Virgos, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Show me, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Show me what I need to see. So we have koala and eucalyptus. You know, there's a change right now, present moment in the weather. Some of you guys may be feeling this change, this change. There may be some changes being made on your body right now, present moment. It says relax and cleanse. Purify your space and do some special self-care now. Cultivate serenity. You know, I'm getting like, this is like with that eucalyptus, I'm getting like the common cold. I'm getting like, light soiling bleaching you may you either you you may have picked up something some your kids may have picked up something you know these kids are back in school you know there may be certain people that's around you there may be a bug going around at your kid's school or at your job here with that eucalyptus that eucalyptus actually opens up your your sinuses truly opening up your sinuses here your spirit guides are telling you guys to relax and cleanse. Take care of yourself right now, present moment. Take care of your health. Take care of your well-being. Clean your space. Purify your space. You know, again, you guys may be in, in within a work environment. You may be within your four walls. And there may be some germs going around for some of you guys. That koala spirit is telling me it's like a cold. You know, I feel like it's there's a coldness here. Again, relax and cleanse is your overall energy. So let's see. This is all about your self-care. This is all about you guys taking care of yourself. I think I want to use a different deck. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Two of Wands. What's going on with my Virgos? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. You got the potential of something good coming on in. Show me what's going on with my Virgos. Ooh, the star. There's a wish being granted. There's money coming in, and it doesn't have to be on a grand scale. There's money coming in, and there's a wish here that's being granted for you guys. Your spirit guides are having, you know, this is, this two of wands is about planning and getting organized. How are you going to handle this dream coming true? How are you going to handle this new opportunity that's coming in for you? Show me, show me more. The devil Capricorn energy. Okay. That devil wants to be seen, wants to be heard. Show me more. What's going on with my Virgos? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Show me more. What's going on with my Virgos? Ooh, Ace of Wands. You got two Aces. Love that. Love that. You got two Aces here coming through. Let's see. The Two of Wands talks about, yes, making a decision, but also this is about getting organized and planning accordingly. You got an opportunity here that's coming in for you, Ace of Pentacles here. This is also telling me the star, Aquarius, energy, a wish coming true here. You know, that devil's here, though. That devil is temptation. That devil is certain attachments. You've, you've become attached to something within your life here. And I feel like Capricorn energy coming through. I'm looking at 
the want, the way that these two ladies, it's like they both want the same thing. And this is like being competitive without actually wanting something that you're not even quite sure that this is really and truly what you, why you want it. You know, this is almost like asking your child a question. That's what I'm getting. This is almost like asking your child a question. Why do you want this? Because, you know, you may have a child here, and I'm just giving an example, that they want something so badly, and they can't even tell you why they really and truly want this. But you keep asking questions, asking questions, asking questions, until the person, the child sees, well, I don't even know why I really and truly want it. It won't really and truly make a difference. That's what I'm getting from that energy. Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It's telling me about persevering. Ace of Wands, love that for you guys, because there's a new, this is the potential of something new here. Passion, a new spark. There's a new inspiration here that's coming in for you guys. Something is coming in. There's a blessing here. There's an opportunity here. Something's coming in for you. And that in itself is going to open a door for something else to come in for you. You know, this is like winning the lottery or winning a prize here and whatever this is it is giving you something because there's something of substance here that's coming in that's going to allow for you to ace of wands do something that you actually want to do embark on a journey that you actually want to embark on absolutely beautiful energy give me a sec absolutely beautiful energy show me this two of wands for my virgos so we have creativity. Yeah, you see, have fun. Express yourself in new ways here. So your spirit guides are telling you guys to have fun. It's making the decision to have fun, to be able to express yourself in new ways here. So I feel like this is just you, your creativity. You, a lot of you guys are focused on your on, on creating something right now, present moment. A lot of you guys are, are focused on your skills and your talents and your gifts here. I feel like right now, present moment, you're either being called to plan and get organized on how you're going to pursue these creative endeavors or right now, present moment, that may be your stance where you are plotting and planning. How, am, what am I going to do with this? I have created something, you know, you've created something, you're creating something, or you're thinking about creating something. But then once I create that one thing, then what, what am I going to do with this? Yeah. Yeah. Show me, show me this Ace of Pentacles because you got a new opportunity coming in. Show me this Ace of Pentacles for my Virgos. Retreat. Time spent alone. Reflection on past and current situations. So the opportunity that's coming towards you guys is solitude. The opportunity that's coming towards you guys is an opportunity to stay home. That's what I'm seeing. An opportunity to be left alone. An opportunity to retreat from the crowd here. There's some time that's spent, you, you have an opportunity here to be able to spend some time alone to reflect on the past and your current situation. So this is like saying that this, there's an opportunity, of course. Some of you guys, again, there may be some type of money coming in that's allowing you to be able to take a vacation or to be able to not work as hard here. Yeah, show me, show me this star for my Virgos. Show me the star. Denial. Failure to accept a situation, an unhealthy cycle or addiction here. Okay. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody in the public's eye or a celebrity here. Or this could be you. You could be in the public's eye. And I feel like these unhealthy cycles, there's something about an environment here. Someone's in an environment and not seeing that this environment is not doing them justice. Someone's in some type of environment here. This is like having a, this is like becoming a celebrity and it's something that you've always wished for. This is something that you've always wanted. A wish has come true for you. It's something that you've always wanted, but it's not to say that it is good for you. Again, I go back to the child energy because when I, when I looked into this devil, that's exactly what I kind of got. Something, just because somebody wants something, just because it's a dream, it's a wish, it's a goal, it's a desire. It doesn't mean that it's something that's good for them. So this could be you or this could be somebody within your, within your energy, whereas there's an opportunity, yes, in a wish, a dream, a goal, a desire is coming true, but it's not to say that that is the good thing. That's, it's not to say that it's good for this person. 
strong Aquarius energy coming through. So this could be you or somebody that that's in your energy because you see this addiction, you know, and what I'm seeing here is that your spirit guides are saying that there's something coming in, but this thing that's coming in, it's to use it wisely, to use it to your benefit, yours and or someone else's, because just as fast as it comes in, just as fast as you get this thing, it could be gone if you don't use it to, for your highest and your greatest good here. You know, this is like somebody finally reaching a, a point here in their life where there's so much success and so much victory, they're winning. You know, and then, because we have the devil and we have these addictions here and these unhealthy cycles. And it's, it's saying failure to accept a situation. So this is exposing self to a, to an environment that is unhealthy. Some of you guys, you may be exposing yourself to an environment that's unhealthy and, or you may be dealing with somebody that's doing that. Yeah. Show me this devil for my Virgos manifestation, law of attraction, thoughts become things here. Your thoughts become things here. Don't live in fear, though. Your spirit guides are wanting you guys to not live in fear. Hmm. Because that devil, there's, there's some things that you are attracting right now, present moment. Again, I feel like, you know, there's always two sides of the coin. While, while you may be attracting positive, you also attract negative. While you, be, while you may be making some positive moves, there's always going to be a window of opportunity of something negative or some type of temptation that comes in. Yeah. Some of you guys, your spirit guides are calling you to take a step back here. An opportunity to take a step back. That's why this purify your space and do some special care is needed for you guys. Show me spirit. Show me this nine of wands. Show me this nine of wands for my Virgos. Peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you here. Look at that. There's some peace and some contentment that's coming to you. You're going to persevere and you're going to overcome this. And again, I feel like it's your spirit guys that's just trying to Clear your mind, open up your, clear your mind and open up space. Show me this ace of wands for my Virgos. Divine timing. Everything has a higher purpose here. There's something here that you guys are creating. There is something here that you guys are being called to create, called to cultivate. And I feel like you're cultivating serenity here, peace. But you know what? Just like the reading I did yesterday, it's one of those energies you have to deal with it without the blinders on. You have to deal with it, feel the emotions, dive into this because this is exactly what this is. Because you have two aces, you have your ace of pentacles and your ace of wands. wands. This talks about a spark of creation. You know, this talks about, you know, getting like you're being encouraged. There's something here that's coming in that's encouraging you. And I feel like it is all about a higher purpose, a higher calling here. Some of you guys, there's an opportunity of retreating, an opportunity of getting away from all of the noise to be able to cultivate and create what you want through some type. You're getting inspired, the star inspiration as well. But there's an environment here. There's a situation, cycles, addictions, an environment here that can actually disturb your peace, disturb your peace because peace is coming to you because this came out on the nine of wands. That's your wounded warrior. Peace is coming your way. This is exactly what it is that you guys have been manifesting. But also I feel like your spirit guys with that devil here. I, it's, it's almost like I'm questioning what are you, what are you truly manifesting though? Because you want something, but whatever it is that you're wanting, is it, is it good for you? Is it what, is it what's best for you? 
Like, you know, you may want something, but have you, de have you dealt with your demons? You know, this is, you know, I, I don't know why I keep getting like a lottery something. Whereas like, you know how some people, they'll win the lottery and then they'll be broke again within two to five years. That type of energy is coming through. It says release jealousy, sever vows of poverty, and exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Let's get into this. It says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifest exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If you can have it, if I'm sorry, if they can have it, so can you. You can have everything it is that you want as well. You see, you have this ace of pentacles, you have this ace of wands. Everything, yes, happens in divine timing. It does. And I do see the possibility yourself in new ways I do see the possibility of you guys actually creating something here. Some of you guys, there's some limiting beliefs here with that devil, that jealousy, um, release jealousy is what your spirit guides are telling you guys. You know, it says, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of this of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. And this is about you guys believing in the abundance that is really and truly meant for you. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I believe in my abundance. I believe in my abundance. I believe that I am abundant. You guys have to truly believe this. It says... The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward here. I see you guys having inspiration coming in, ideas coming in. You know, there's money coming in for you guys. There's a proposal coming in. There's an opportunity here that's coming in. You guys got to get ready for this. There is a wish that's being granted, but there's two sides of this coin here. What, what brings in positive will always bring in negative. And what I'm seeing here, this is like, okay, yeah, you get this job, you get this money. You may have certain family members or friends here that come in and they attach themselves to you to feed off of your own blessing because this star is a blessing that's coming in. This ace of pentacles is an opportunity here that's coming in here. And while yes, there's, there's perseverance here. I feel like this is about you guys maintaining your peace. And this could be the environment, like people that you're dealing with, maintaining some type of peace here, putting people in their places. You may find yourself having to put certain people in their place to maintain your peace here. Because again, you could be winning something, you could be getting something, you could be creating something, and you may have certain people that may be coming to try and feed off of your vibrations, feed off of your blessings. You see that energy? Yeah. All right, my loves. And that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.